Welcome to part two of the Kansas-Texas Christian game uh, semifinals of the Big 12 Championship film breakdown here. We're going to jump right back into it. Um, if you could click the subscribe button uh, and like and share our content, that would be appreciated. Uh, thank you, and we'll just jump right into it. Kansas is kind of going on a run here, but look, they're, you know, the ability to go downhill here um, is big time. The drawn kick, uh, the t uh, number 10 has really played well for Kansas here recently. And this play of being able to play to the nail and to be able to play against pressure and contact and, and they swipe down and still finish. They're going on a run. They were down four to nothing. Granted, they're now eight minutes in. But, um, you know, their, their intensity, they're digging out. Th th these are highlights. So there's probably a, something good happening on the defense or offensive end here. But, you know, closing out really, they get the hands up. They do contest that shot, right? Um, and this guy, number four, has received a number of... The only thing I would do different here and the thing I would try to coach a little bit here is the speed to close out with hands down here. Notice how bronze hands are down. Now, now they're up. You know, rebounding the weak side of the floor, hopefully 11. Um, I, I believe that might be Remy, uh, Remy, right? But there's a kick. More kicks, more, but hands are up there and they hit a three, right? People are going to make shots. So that's understandable, right? So let's see. It's a pin down here for Abaji for number 10, right? Abaji gets the pin down around the elbow. Then he runs it into a ball screen where you're going to be picking and popping with an All-American and then throwing it over the top. So... A set play, a pin down, number 10 knows that we got a ball screen and we know that we're going to be going over and we're going to be showing uh, on a lateral show, not a hard show up the line, but on a lateral show, there's a pin down on the other side of the floor. So we're clearing out the entire weak side of the floor here, right? And there's the Braun, and he already knows. Like he's going on, because he's an All-American and he's a lottery pick. Right, but he's going to be rolling. He's a first team All American and he's rolling, and the ball's not even there yet. But he throws it over the top, right, and gets an N1. So let's play this out again. So now that you see everything that's going on a pin down to a pin down on the weak side to a pick and pop, and then he's just immediately rolling and Bronze throwing it over the top. It's a great uh, out of timeout play. It's a great, um, you know, there's a lot, and here's another angle of it. Right, but they clear out the entire weak side of the floor and get to what they want from their All-American. So a great play there, um, and they're able to finish. Gets the free throw, 21-12, and now we're rolling. So they do a good job here. I do like the Lightfoot guy. He's been there since like the early 80s, it seems like, right? He's been around forever. Um, but he's not, he's opened up here. He's not flat, and so we're not able to really control that dribble. There's a drawn kick. You know, this guy can't roll. He can't pop. He's not a good roll guy. It doesn't seem like. So there's our kick. And then Braun, look, Braun doesn't close out. He's got his hands down. We really work with our kids on hands up, right? Nobody seems to be moving that hard, right? And he may make these shots, but look, this is what I don't love, right? So here's the free throw by Abaji. We come down here. We're going to have a high ball screen by four who's got – Four to six points at this point, right? Lightfoot does a good job. But look, it's not just... He goes over the top of the screen. He's a little too flat for me. But he's playing the nail or the elbow, right? And so this guy has kind of three, really two and a half, because he knows he's coming back. There's three to stop the ball. Now, but here's the thing. Nobody's moving. Like, there's, they're moving, but it's just garbage, right? It was a bad cut by the point guard. It was a bad roll to positioning and angle and and ceiling it's this guy got hung up on a denial by 10 so this guy's just gonna say uh, you know and he may make it because it's a highlight package right and he does right but I don't know if that's the shot you want and I don't know if we need to be doing that when when you're eight and ten in league you know and you haven't won anything right I just don't know if that's everything we need to be doing right I do like fours fours kind of having himself a day so far they end up losing he ends up getting fouled here what I like about this that I would show our kids is this Nose on ball, between the legs, but look, then he immediately creates the contact there. He immediately creates the contact by, the, by, by bumping him. Lightfoot's two, uh, up the line, so here's the small details that we would have with our kids. Is, look, he's trying to body ball screen it, but like, be, he's got to be, that, that pocket pass, that dump down pass from elbow to block, 
that should be a rough one. We got lucky he didn't get it there, but light like you don't have McCormick in. So does does Lightfoot bring something to the table? Absolutely. I like the guy, um, and I think he brings something to the table different than McCormick, right? But I don't think that. But McCormick brings the toughness and size and strength that Lightfoot doesn't here because this you know this shouldn't happen, right? So now we're at the line. Right, so he's going to go to the free throw line. It's 16 to 21 at this point, right? So let's run this back, and we'll we'll call this clip, uh, this video done here in a second. I like this Harris guy a lot. He's driving nail. It'd be interesting to see what McCormick does here, right? Everybody's interchanging on the weak side. One, two, three defensive guys. He's playing level, uh, level with McCormick, but and then there maybe there's a pin down here, but there's a kick. Immediately puts it on the floor, but look, man, what I, I, I don't like a whole lot of chatter when we're not, you know, just killing it and, and a great team, right? And I'm not saying TCU is not. So I, the, the four, you know, uh, is a good player, but what I like about four here is he's, comp he's competing. You know, you have two guys with NBA bodies and size that are competing in there, and McCormick's really working it, right? But listen, because we have a post option and a post threat, Number four's got to be engaged with everything McCormick's doing. So when we get this cross by Harris and we get that penetrating drive and you get guys that can shoot it out here because look how he stunts and you're able to get there, the big can't get off the big. And if you can't get off the big and you can't protect the rim, then you're just not going to be as, as effective as you should, right? We'll go baseline out of bounds here, but look at him clear it out for McCormick. Right, and those are the plays that McCormick just can't finish. And I've watched a lot of Kansas this year, right? But let's watch this out of bounds, right? It's a screen, the screener. McCormick gets some. They're bringing number one off. I, I forget his name, right? He's gonna settle into the post. Braun's gonna pop uh, and cut and replace, and Harris is gonna come off that pin down, pop and replace. Now we now we're here. Look, but watch what's happening here. So he's gonna space away. Braun's moving away. They're interchanging here. They're into their high-low offense that, self, that Bill Self has run for years, right? So there's that. But because, look, because they've emptied it out, because they're moving, because they can play, and because the ball has changed sides of the floor, this guy is not playing lane line. So, and because of that, you can throw it over the top. Look at this gap here. Now he's got to go get it, and McCormick flat out has to make those shots. And that has been a problem for him all year long. The free throw line has been a problem. The finishing around the rim has been a problem. Um, but I do like him. I just think, and here's another one, right? So let's go back and then we'll end it after this play, right? There's his free throw he made. Now watch. They get hung up on this screen here. And I can't imagine that two really wants to guard him. So it goes to Harris. He's going to stunt out back to his man and he's going to try to recover him. Right there. There's the play. The play goes right there into McCormick, and he catches it, but he's outside the paint, and let's see how they play him. Because dead three, good shooter, good shooter, dead three, right? I don't know about these two guys, but I know he can play in terms of on the perimeter and shooting, and I know Braun can. But let's see if they double him. So nobody's coming. Right now, he's creating some fouls. You're getting the ball inside. You're doing some things here. He does have a jump hook going to his left, which is great. But look, but you know, game plan right here is don't double McCormick. Nobody's going. Nobody's going. And he's, at, he's getting to the line. So great job by TCU to understand game plan, scouting, uh, scouting report, strategy, and um, personnel, right? So it's really good. Listen, we'll stop it there. This is going to be a part two. I really like watching Kansas play. Um, and this is a game they end up winning by 10. If you could click the subscribe button, we'd appreciate it. But uh, any support or help you can give, any likes, comments, shares is always appreciated. Thank you.